Welcome to another Igloo imaging tutorial. This one is on how to create reflections in Illustrator. So you might have seen a previous tutorial on creating these glass buttons, these round balls. Um, if you want to go and watch that one first, I actually just put a shadow underneath it, a simple shadow. This is going to show you how to put these reflections underneath them. So let's start, let's get rid of these and this stuff and get rid of two of these. So whatever you've got to start with, design a logo, be it a glass button like this, or you can actually just start with a circle. So if you want to, we'll do both. I'll show you. The principle is very simple and we can do both at the same time. So if you want to draw yourself a circle, get your ellipse tool up here and just click that and then drag and hold and hold down shift and alt and you'll draw a circle out. Okay, so get yourself a circle, make it any color you like, black's fine. Um, this is my shape, so if you've designed a different logo, the same principles apply. Make sure it's all grouped together, okay? If it's not grouped together, you can tell if you if you hit V and you just move something and the rest of it doesn't move. So drag your V, your cursor over everything and press Command G. And that way, whenever you move it, it's all grouped together. Okay, that's the first step. So the, the first thing we're gonna do is, is duplicate these two shapes down below. So we're gonna drag, press V, drag your cursor over both shapes. So you've got them both selected and then you're gonna shift alt and drag shift alt and drag so all that's done is copied them down here you can do it a different way you can just press command c command v and it'll paste them somewhere but it doesn't paste them in exactly the same spot if you press command shift v it'll paste them in exactly the same space and then you can just drag them down holding the shift key in the same line so there's a few different options there to copy and paste them below now what we want to do, we want to flip these round, okay? So the shadows, the reflections up here and the reflections up here. We want this reflection to be down here. So we want to flip these round. And you're going to do the reflect tool. Now if you click and hold this, you might see the rotate tool. So one might be under the other. So you want the reflect tool. You just double click and this will pop up. Horizontal, vertical, angle. All you want to do is a horizontal reflect. You can have your preview ticked so you see what it's going to look like. That's fine. So we're going to hit OK. Now, you're going to click off these shapes. And what we're going to do next is draw a box, a square. So click your ellipse tool there that we just drew and get the rectangle tool coming up. Now, depending on what you've got preset, it'll just draw, in this case, it's going to draw a black rectangle. So we're just going to click and hold and draw roughly over the shapes. It doesn't necessarily matter how accurate this bit is. So we're just going to draw this black box over these two shapes. There we go, done. And now we need to add a gradient to this box. Okay, so this looks, this is your gradient tool over here. If you can't see it, it might be under the, oh no, it's just a standalone now. There's no paint bucket tool. So gradient tool, the shortcut's G. And the gradient we want is a white to black. I mean, it should be in your presets, but if, if it isn't, then all you have to do is create a gradient. Now let's click this preset. So it's done it already. If we click just a color, it's going to do a color. So let's click on the gradient slider. If you can't see the gradient slider, it'll be under windows, go down to gradient. Um, and then with the gradient tool selected, you're going to click and drag from the top to the bottom. Now hold shift and it, it'll do it in a straight line, top to bottom. There you go. Now over on the gradient slider, you can see we've got white over here, we've got black over here, and this is the middle, middle button. So we're going to drag this middle button as far up as it'll go. It makes it about the location about 13%. So once that's done, you want to hit V and select everything. So drag your cursor over all three items, two shapes and the rectangle, the gradient rectangle. Now you want to go to transparency. If you can't see transparency again, go up to window, down to transparency, and you'll see this. 
So next to transparency there should be a little burger and if you hit that you can see the options and make opacity, ma opacity max is the one that you want. So click that and instantly it's done what we want it to do. So it's a bit too bright um, to be a, a good reflection. So we're going to drop the opacity down to about 30%. And once that's done, that looks about right. So we're going to move our shapes into place. You can do it a few different ways. You can you can move them up, hold in, hold in shift, and you can put them right on the baseline, which is fine. Or if you want it to look like a piece of thicker glass or a piece of thicker mirror, you can just bring them down a touch. And then it just looks like there's a bit of glass in between them. And that is it. You can apply it to any kind of shape uh, as long as it's unified and grouped together. I um, hope that was helpful. Please like or subscribe and I'll see you.